I'm Christine. After working hard for many years accumulating material things, I decided to sell it all. Now I travel living out of my SUV. I roam around looking for adventure, food, and fun. If you'd like to be my travel buddy, then like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Join my Patreon or YouTube membership community for exclusive perks and content. In this video, I start the day by having coffee in a nice cafe. I have hot oatmeal mixed with fruit for breakfast, and after getting ready at the gym, I grab some burgers to cook up and enjoy at a lakeside park. I do a little thrift store shopping before leaving Louisiana and making my way over the Texas border. I see an alligator at a rest stop and arrive to Houston as the sun was setting with just enough time to check out the awe-inspiring water wall. Good morning. I need my hairbrush. It is about seven o'clock. I've been sleeping in a little bit lately because I have a new morning routine that I'm pretty excited about. I downloaded the Panera Bread app and currently they're offering their ultimate sip club membership free for two months. Normally I think it's like $12, but basically you can get unlimited free drinks from Panera within like a limited menu. They're like mostly drinks that are like basically water that you self-serve, you know, coffee, you know, pops, iced tea, lemonade, but I'm loving it because I'm not having to prep my coffee or clean up after my coffee. And I have like a nice place just kind of spread out in the morning. Panera has a, a pretty good vibe. So I've been working there. You know, I can charge my laptop. Just kind of been <laughs> setting up temporary camp there. So I'm only about three minutes away from Panera. So I'm gonna head there now. Another thing I've been loving about my Panera routine is when I'm done with my coffee, I rinse it out and they have unlimited hot water for like tea and stuff like that. So I just fill it like half full of their hot water, which it's like almost boiling, it's very hot. And then I add some oatmeal to it and let it sit for a minute and it cooks the oatmeal. And then I have like hot breakfast in a dish I don't have to wash. It's awesome. To jazz up the oatmeal, I've been adding these smoothie packs. They are basically just dehydrated organic fruit. So adding this packet to the oatmeal makes it taste great and gives me a couple servings of fruit. Workout and shower time. Conveniently in the same parking lot as Planet Fitness, there is a grocery store, Albertsons. So we're gonna head in there and get some lunch. What flavors do you guys have? Oh, this is new. I'll take one of those. Thank you so much. <laughs> What do I owe you? Five dollars. Five dollars, that's a steal. All right, let's head to the park and make some burgers. So lunch today is gonna to be some simple burgers. I can just throw on the skillet. I have some wheat bread I need to use up, some ketchup to go with it. And I found these barbecue chickpea puffs on sale today. So that sounds good together. Oh, one or two. Always two. 
check on the burgers. Ooh, got them on too high. I think I'm just going to use two whole slices of bread and we'll put both patties in the middle and just have one giant burger. I like a lot of ketchup. Ooh, let's put some ketchup in the middle too. To drown this puppy. Looks good. Let's add some barbecue chickpea puffs. This feels like a kid's meal. <laughs> I'm in Lake Charles, Louisiana. I have been here for several days. I just counted and I've actually been in Louisiana for two days shy of two months. That was not the plan. I really thought I would have covered a lot more ground by now, but honestly, I just didn't feel like moving on. Experiencing Chase's passing really broke open my heart and that mixed with not having anyone to take care of besides myself has really forced me to kind of dig deeper into who I am and what I want out of life and realign my values and all that stuff. So that's taken some time, but I am so thankful that I have the ability to go at a slower pace when I want to, when that's what feels right. So many times in my past, I've had so many bills, so many expenses that I just had to work. Even if I was going through something, I just had to suck it up and work those 40 hours, maybe more than 40 hours. And it just, it really, it really hurt my heart. So although I go without a lot of things, I also have very few bills and that allows me to be able to process things and give things time when needed. I do, however, feel rested up and refreshed and ready to move on. I am close to the border of Texas, which is basically a new state for me. I flew into Dallas for a very short business trip a long time ago, but other than that, I've never explored the state. So very much looking forward to that. So today we'll be driving to Houston together. Before I leave town, I want to stop at Plato's Closet. I get 99% of my clothes from there. It's a secondhand store that only sells clothes that are in season and in style, and their prices are extremely reasonable, and I need a couple items, so I'm gonna go check that out before we hit the highway. I found the thing I needed the most, which was a jacket. I have not replaced the one that I threw away last year. Made a video about it, actually. I cleaned up my car and I threw it away. It was my favorite jacket. I had it forever. So hopefully I love this one as much and keep it as long too. It was $16, so great deal. And also I was not planning on getting high heel shoes today, but they just like caught my eye and they are so comfortable and they were $12 and they say CM on them. Like they have my initials on them. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> I already kind of regret the shoes. Like where am I gonna put them in the car? <laughs> I am glad I bought those shoes because I kind of forgot I have a whole nother section in here of auxiliary shoes and I just forget it's there and I never wear them. And I have these leopard Converse shoes I was so excited about and then I forgot to wear them. So I'm gonna wear them today. I've had them forever and I've never worn them. I have too much stuff. I can't call myself a minimalist if this happens to me. I don't think shoes should count in minimalism. It's about a two hour drive to Houston, so not bad. And we are very close to the Texas border. So let's head that way now. Oh yay, we get to go over that huge bridge I've been looking at from the park all week. Ah, let me turn the camera around. Oh my gosh. Oh, bridges are so scary and awesome at the same time. Oh my word. Just in case you're wondering, I am not taking my eyes off the road. I'm just 
moving my arm around, not looking at the camera, so I don't know how good the footage is, but safety first. <laughs> easy to take things like bridges for granted because they're so commonplace but like 200 years ago to cross that lake would have been like such an ordeal slash impossible and now we can do it in two minutes with ease so we are blessed to live in this time. <laughs> I believe this bridge is taking us over the river that is the Texas border. So on the other side of this is Texas. <gasps> Texas stay line, Texas stay line, Texas stay line, Texas stay line. Woo! We're in Texas! Yeehaw! Oh look, there's a welcome center. I don't even have to use the restroom, but I'm still gonna stop. This is awesome. We're in Texas. I hope I see someone in a cowboy hat today. I've only been in Texas for two minutes and I've already got 87 mosquito bites and there's a big sign that says watch for snakes. How dangerous is this state? <laughs> This rest area has an amazing wilderness area in the back with this awesome trail. And right over there is a real live alligator. Oh my gosh, I'm probably only like 40 feet from it. I just saw a bunch of alligators on a swamp tour in Louisiana. It was so cool. But to see one again in the wild, is just like seen it for the first time. They're so cool. It's like seeing a dinosaur. All right, let's get back on the road. God bless Texas with his own hand Dropping down angels from the promised land I've been sent to spread the message God bless Texas I try not to eat a lot while driving, but we're in some type of traffic jam and it's bumper to bumper. We're going three miles an hour, so I'm gonna eat my leftover sandwich. We have made it to Houston. I'm assuming we are approaching downtown because it is stop and go traffic again. I'm trying to get us to a park before the sun sets. The GPS says we'll arrive right as the sun's going down. This place has a really cool structure that I wanna check out and show you guys. So that's where we're trying to get to right now. gosh that's so cool oh we made it now i just need to find parking which looks like quite the feat <laughs> all right i found parking in a garage i don't know what it's going to cost but it was the only option so <laughs> okay i've got the girl scout cookies and my new jacket so time to head to the park This thing is awesome! The Water Wall, officially known as the Gerald D. Hines Water Wall Park, is a prominent landmark in the Uptown District of Houston, Texas. The Water Wall is a 64-foot tall architectural fountain that is made of concrete and can hold up to 11,000 gallons of water. It offers a tranquil oasis amidst the bustling cityscape. 
This thing is crazy. It's so loud. You can feel the mist coming off of it too. I didn't really even look at these that closely. Indulgent brownie cookies with caramel flavored cream and a hint of sea salt. Today's been a really good day. I feel like I've done a lot of things, but they were all pretty easy and fun. <laughs> oh my word, they smell so good. Mm. I love my life. Not every day, but today for sure. I'm so thankful to be here. I'm thankful you guys came along with me too. Today's been a really good day. I'm excited to be in Houston. I have a couple of adventures planned here, so look out for that in the next video. I'm going to enjoy a few more of these cookies and just enjoy the rest of the evening. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.